Hi, it's Lynn Liaz, and I want to share some news with you. This is very important, I feel, because, well, it could start a whole chain of prophetic events. You see, in the end times, before the return of Christ, there needs to be a great stir of the Holy Spirit in order to bring those souls that the Lord is waiting on to repentance so they will come to the cross of Jesus Christ. Now, I think that this event could be the start of such a thing. In fact, when I came across this, I got the Holy Spirit type of chills within me because the Lord has been speaking to me for several years now about such an event, except on a more um, widespread scale. Now, I actually wrote about such an event or a similar event in my book, Soul Deceiver. I have the book trailer um, on my YouTube channel on the homepage. So I wrote about a similar event in my book. The pastor of the church in my book actually started something called Sidewalk Prophecy Campaign. So again, it was more widespread. Every single state in the United States of America had this huge, massive prayer event, and they were all out on the sidewalks uh, proclaiming Jesus was coming soon and praying, and they were singing songs of praise at the exact same time all over the United States. So what Michael Snyder is doing is he is hosting a huge prayer event for this nation in the middle of September. I encourage you. In fact, I'm having thoughts myself. I'm probably going to go to this prayer conference that he's having. It's on the second week, I believe, of September in the weekend. And I'm actually thinking about how could I do something like this in the state in which I live. So I encourage you also, if you know a way to host such an event, please try to do so. Pray about it. Think about a way. We need to start a huge movement of the Holy Spirit in this nation. We need to get the anointing to fall down so that those souls that God is waiting on will get saved. This could cause a massive soul harvest. We really need to do this. We are the body of Christ. In fact, I'm going to share with you what I wrote in this article. Now, I'm going to interview Michael Snyder tonight. As it is pre-recorded. It will air on my radio show, which airs every Friday and Saturday um, on the Leading Edge Radio Network. So this show will air Friday and Saturday both. On Friday, it airs at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they just set the time for Saturday, so let me look. So I don't tell you wrong, right here. Okay, and it airs Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is on Leading Edge Radio Network. That is uh, leadingedgeradio.com. So go ahead and visit that site, bookmark it, put it up on your browser, whatever you have to do. Do not miss this show. Michael and I are going to discuss end times events. We're going to discuss September, the economy. We're going to discuss what led him to host this prayer event that he is hosting. We want it to be huge, okay, because this is very important. As I said, we are the body of Christ. It is our responsibility to take a stand. Now, let me share with you what I wrote in this article, and I want you, if you could, please help me out. Share this link to this article everywhere that you can. And I will put the link in the about section as well as in the comments area below this video after it is uploaded. Okay, this is very important. The Lord is really stressing the importance of this, laying it on my heart. Let me share with you what I wrote. First of all, I quoted Martin Luther. Prayer is a strong wall and fortress of the church. It is a goodly Christian weapon. He refers to it as a weapon and a wall, a strong wall and a fortress. He also says to be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. Those are some powerful statements. Let us never forget how important prayer is. You have to have that communication with the Heavenly Father. And let me just tell you this, when you take the one single powerful prayer of one person, and you can bind that with more than one. The more people, the more powerful. Can you imagine what would happen if thousands of people all across the United States of America took a stand 
at the same time, even if you can't go to his event, if you did this for the same weekend and you had literally thousands of people all over praying at the same time, can you imagine what could happen? Powerful. Here's what I wrote. What does this nation really need right now? For quite some time, God has been laying it on my heart strong that we need thousands and thousands of people across the nation to unite in prayer at the same time, to sing songs of praise and to pray, pray, pray like never before. And then I came across something tonight that gave me goosebumps. I was stunned to see it actually happening. In fact, in my book, Soul Deceiver, the pastor calls for Christians all over the United States of America to pray at the same exact time and on the same day and to get out on the streets and sing songs of praise. This very act in my book caused a great anointing on the nation and brought about a great revival in which thousands and thousands of people were brought to Jesus Christ. I do not think this nation as a whole will repent. I think we have reached a point of no return. But I do think this is necessary in causing a revival across the land, such as has not been seen in history. You see, there are lost souls God is waiting on right now before other events can happen. There are terrible things coming soon, and many will lose their soul forever to Satan if they do not repent and come to Jesus Christ. Now, Michael Snyder said a great shaking is coming to America and we're going to get together to pray. We are calling this a solemn assembly and a great deal of time is going to be spent praying, repenting, and seeking God. We believe that we are approaching one of the most critical times that our nation has ever faced. And so we are issuing a call to prayer. No matter what church or denomination you may belong to, we encourage you to come and be part of this. Believers from a wide variety of backgrounds are going to lift up their voices in prayer and repent for the sins of our community, the sins of our nation, and the sins of the church. It will be a time when the remnant can connect with one another, pray with one another, and minister to one another. Powerful. You get the gist of what he's doing. So I wrote, what you are about to read below could be the beginning of a final call. Will other states follow what these two men are doing? Now, if you can't attend to this, start one in your own state. Put it out everywhere on social media. Join Facebook groups. Post about it. Go post somewhere if you have a, uh, a blog or a website. You know, there's tons of free blogs out there. Do something. Tell, talk about it in your church. Get it going. What if this entire nation, all 50 states, hosted a huge prayer conference like this on the exact same weekend at the exact same times? Can you imagine what would happen? Devils would drop to their knees left and right. This hell that has overtaken the United States of America would literally be run out and scared out by the Holy Spirit. Thousands of lost souls would be freed and saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. If millions of homosexuals can get together to have gay parades and gay pride events and then get gay marriage approved in all 50 states, why can't Christians begin to stand up and fight? We are the children of God, his ambassadors, his spokesmen and women. What on earth are we all doing? Where are all the true Christians at? Where are the voices of God on this earth right now? Wake up. You may think the headline is a little you know, strange, or even some of you might find it offensive, but not if you understand it. It's a play on words. USA will be shaken as two men join forces this September with event so powerful it will scare the hell out of America. That's right. It will run demons off out of this nation that are holding lost souls in bondage right now. It'll, it will literally run the hellish demons out of this nation that are holding them in bondage. That is what that headline means. Now, I'm not going to share the rest of this post. I would love for you to go take a look at it and to please share this important post. Please tune in online. You don't need a radio to tune in. It's an online radio show to the Leading Edge Radio Network. That is leadingedgeradio.com. Tune in on Friday and Saturday. If you can't listen Friday, listen Saturday at the times I gave you. Let me share those times again. I'll show them to you on screen. 
KSS Do Not Miss It, listen to Michael Snyder discuss September events, a soon coming huge prayer event, and more this Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Saturday 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Leading Edge Radio Network. This will be a broadcast you can't afford to miss. It says click here to go to Leading Edge Radio Network now and bookmark. So I've got it hyperlinked for you. You don't have to remember. Um, what I just said, just go to the article. The link will be posted in the comments and in the about section. Okay, just go to the article, click on it there, bookmark that. I want as many of us to bind together as we can. Please leave your comments. Okay, leave your comments, share your thoughts. If you can start something like this, that will be great. It says, read the following. As I said, this could ignite a prophetic chain of events like never before. Will you follow their lead? Will you be part of the Holy Spirit fire that is coming upon this nation to ignite a powerful move of the Spirit? It also says Michael Snyder, the owner and author of End of the American Dream and the Economic Collapse blog, as well as numerous books and author Benjamin Baruch are hosting a huge prayer conference in September. Here is what Michael writes on Facebook. So uh, most of you know who Michael Snyder is. He is very well known in the end times and prophecy um, news and so forth. He has the um, economic collapse blog, which he owns in authors. He also has the end of the American dream website, which he owns and authors. He is all over the place. Please help him get the word out about this. Do what you can and share this article wherever you can so that other people might have a thought to do the same thing, to attend this conference if they can, or to be willing to start an event or even pray from their homes at the same exact time on the same exact days. This is powerful, everyone. Please, please, please pray about this and do what you can. Thank you so much and God bless you.